Welcome back to another episode of Last Night on Earth Survival. Today we're to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from me on out. Today is a serious day. The Pantalones are going on after quite a hiatus from, well, just pants in general. Today and the shenanigans planned for today are very serious. These very serial shenanigans require a very serious me, so I must finally put on the pants as- Ooh, piece of candy! Hold up, not so serious matter! First, detour pantalones back off, because let me just say, the un- it just, I just- I just love the underwear! It matches Travis, the freaking turtle over there on our back, and just overall, it has me feeling good! Now, you know what? I don't know if I want to strip completely naked for this, but I am trying to keep my armor somewhat intact, but the pantalones will go back off, and the shenanigans will continue, and which rest stop do we have in store for today? The answer is the best rest stop event! Let's freaking go! This if luck is on our side! Here we got a little bit of a holdup between two groups of people. Oh, hello everyone, how are you doing? Let me just go ahead and kill you before you get the opportunity to react. How's that sound? This uh, this just became a three-way standoff. But guess what? I'm an expert at the art of standing and let's freaking go. That's what I'm talking about, a half durability shotgun coming our way. You cannot ask for anything better than that from this event unless this guy dropped his Kalashnikov 47 as well. Oh, this is an omen. Oh, and we got a little bit of pistol drizzle too. What does the chopper have in store for us? That is probably the biggest question. Another gun. Woo! It is the gift that keeps on giving. But let me go ahead and toss those pantalones back on because the going is going to be getting very serial very soon yet again. But for the time being, let me just go ahead and actually empty out all of the gas bottles that I can to siphon up all the gas that we can from here because we want to make sure that we walk out of here with the most stuff imaginable. Let's drink up a little bit of water. I'll drink up all my water. Who needs hydration? I'll just turn myself into an android and next thing you know, I will just drink gasoline. It is a foolproof plan. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, we have gotten some really good loot from this this entire row over here pretty much of guns. That's a lot of good guns that we've acquired. And that is why I just love chopper events in general. They tend to have some pretty good loot, all things considered. But this one in particular, it just gives you such a great chance of walking out of here with at least one pretty good gun. And if you're lucky, like we were today, multiple good guns. I think everyone who could have dropped a gun actually dropped a gun today, which is like the best case scenario that we could hope for. But like I was saying, we got some pretty great shenanigans in store for y'all today. We actually are going to be going on a little bit of a raid later on. In addition to something else that I am incredibly hyped to sink my teeth into, but first things first, we're going somewhere where a zombie is going to be trying to sink her teeth into us. And most definitely not in a good way. She is trying to kill us yeah so we gotta try and stop that because she's also the douche canoe who sends a zombie horde to my base you know and zombie hordes are kind of uh not cool this is the reason the pantalones had to be on today bro so we're gonna eat up some band-aids i'm num num a little bit of beans to wash that down and we are going to deal with the surrounding zombies first and foremost before we uh well, go, go crazy. Actually, hold up. There are no surrounding zombies. Do my eyes deceive me? Did something change in the most recent update where for some reason, the infected forest is not spawning zombies? Well, that's a little bit of pain in my bum removed. Woo, let's freaking go. We don't gotta worry about that, not one bit. But we do have a little bit of shotgun rain in the store because things are very likely to get out of hand by there being a lot of zombies that we got to deal with. But first things first, we got to start dealing with this zombie over here. None other than the Vich. Hello, Mrs. Vich. How are you doing today? I got a whole 
ton of pistol drizzle in store for you. I'm just trying to get a little bit of separation from you. I do not want to be hit by this lady. She is rather nasty when she makes contact with us. She has an opportunity to do a ton of damage to us with one of the heaviest hitting attacks in the entire game. And here we are ding, ding, ding. What is ding? Here we are dealing with the diseased wolves before this massive oh mama does not have that hit us this massive horde of zombies decides to begin its assault of us ah oh, we're gonna walk through a couple of bushes over there and shotgun rain almost all of the zombies that we can and as soon as this last crawler does a perish the witch will be back let's just go ahead and um, 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 shot down a little band-aid action over there along with some beans to wash it down band-aids definitely aren't the best tasting thing you know i don't know why i i always thought that they were a delicacy of some sort turns out i was mistaken who'd I ever thunk but it's okay beans are definitely a delicacy and they do help us out but i am trying to just keep a little bit of distance uh, from the witchy poo because once we hit her with our slow motion attack the special ability that comes with our pistol drizzle we are capable of actually slowing her down and that means that we should be able to outpace her while she tries to catch up to us and even a little bit of shotgun rain oh there we go yeah shotgun rain i want to get a couple of shots in here okay i i can't be using too much of that though i got to save the shotgun rain for dealing with the hordes of zombies. There we go. Let's go back to slowing her down. And as long as we keep our distance from her, she is not going to be able... Oh, hold on. Let me use the trees. Ow. I thought I was using it to my advantage. I was most definitely not. Let's use up that bandaid and continue running away a little bit. And especially this next horde, I want to deal with them as soon as possible because then the witch will not heal as long because that's actually what the witch does every single time she runs through her little hidey hole. She heals while I have to deal with all of the shenanigans that these other zombies do bring our way. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to bring the witch down actually to almost death here. Uh... No, nah, probably just, I'm just better off kind of getting this uh, one bullet off over there. Oh, no. I thought maybe I could. Okay, well, okay. We're going to get that one bullet off on her. And then we're going to swap to a better pistol. Oh, what's up, disease wolf? Why are you spotting all up in my grill, bro? Not cool. Let's give me a little bit of separation here. Okay, let's deal with this diseased wolf. And there we go. Marvelous. Here we get to deal with, oh, baby, a lot of crawlers coming our way. And <laughs> they do not appear happy. I think they want to file a complaint. Unfortunately, the com complaint department is closed permanently who shot to go to rain and guess what with no more customers to complain that's exactly why the complaint department does not need you zombies not at all and here we just got a little bit of the witch and we got some shotgun rain to spare because guess what i do not care if the witch catches up or not catches up to me, but uh, I don't got to worry about her sending a massive horde of enemies my way. I'm going to continue trying to not use my, uh, whatchamacallit, shotgun rain? No, I want to continue using shotgun rain. But I'm going to try to continue not using our usual med kits and instead utilizing some of the band-aids whenever things do get out of hand. Come on, baby. Blow one of her arms off. Whoa! We got the two for one! And once this happens, well, the witch becomes infinitely less terrifying because as soon as you shoot her big arm off, she's not capable of doing her power attack anymore. Her power attack is the real reason I usually fear her. But thanks to the power of the pantalones, something that we save for only the most special occasions. Thank you for your service, pantalones. I will let you rest now. But, uh... We were able to defeat her in rather convincing fashion, and that is something that you absolutely love to see. But there's something else that you love to see, something that all of us are going to love to see. I, of course, am talking about none other than a location so fabled, so legendary, and so close given what has occurred in this latest update. The Pump Jack, a location that's been teasing us beyond the Sector 7 wall since literally like the creation of Last Day on Earth Survival. The wall wasn't always here, but the Pump Jack was always beyond our reach, teasing us in some sort of a location that was going to be connected to multiplayer. Here we could get a little bit more information about it. 
like the fact that we are denied access to it, but more importantly, the fact that it is going to be available during something called Clan Wars. And well, the pump check was always just a mythical little thing that it always seemed like an afterthought. It always just seemed like it was a leftover from the earlier days that the developers, the last day on Earth developers, Kafir, they didn't have any plans for it. But there has been something incredible that I want to show you boys and girls that is going to wow your brain. Because in the latest update to Sector 7, in the latest update to Last Day on Earth Survival in general, that pump jack was actually added to the Sector 7 map. This is a first. It was always teased beyond the wall when you looked at it from single player. But from a multiplayer perspective, it never actually appeared on the map until now. Unfortunately, you cannot actually interact with it or click on it or anything, but but you can see that it does have that red location marker above it. And the, the really big important thing here is that last day on our developers, they went out of their way to specifically add the pump jack to the new Sector 7. This thing was never present in Sector 7 properly until now. And that is such a huge thing tease towards what is to come because to our knowledge from what we saw in the single player side of things this still has to do with that clan wars mechanic that we were talking about now there's this giant crater filled to the brim with well what appears to be quite a lot of buildings more than just ours and likely in the grand scheme of things and kind of like the story so to speak i think that all of the clans are actually grouped up in the crater and there are a variety of towns within this crater not just our own town so that's where things get very interesting because things are shaping up where it looks like clan wars and pvp in some fashion player versus player combat are slated to be coming it's a last day on earth in the coming updates and again a huge tease towards that is the presence of this pump jack specifically appearing in sector 7 that is just so unprecedented because whenever you went to the sector 7 map before this update right when there was actually like a camp over here and stuff there was no pump jack until now so they went out of their way to add this thing and well by the sounds of it we are going to somehow be able to interact with it. And this just seems like it's gonna be such a cool location and like, it's gonna be the first real unique location of multiplayer. Uh, so to speak i guess outside of crossroads in that location but it looks like it's actually going to be a structure that we are going to be battling over and likely whoever wins the clan war associated with this pump jack i'm guessing that that clan is going to be getting a wide variety of resources mainly probably like gas though and gas is probably going to be pretty important because well we're in a freaking apocalypse and as we can tell from what is going on within the crater there's quite a few clues towards how clans might be working down the line as well because we obviously have multiple hints towards vehicles we got the choppers over here we got a freaking buggy and a personal driver literal chauffeur to drive us around oh but we get multiple hints towards these choppers not to mention a garage over here with a dedicated mechanic which appears like it is going to be coming in a future sector 7 update as well not to mention they get gases also technically could be like used as a fuel to power some machinery out in the worlds but then we also know about this thing over here where the city authorities monitor the progress of each clan the best of the best will get a new land and the right to build so we are going to be able to actually expand as a clan and this is kind of i think a, the, this pump jack could actually be tying in with this where not only are we going to be able to build up our own town and expand as a clan but we'll also be able to as a clan gather resources and i think the pump jack is going to be the source of one of the most valuable resources gas and clan wars are going to take place at the pump jack and we are going to be battling over those resources so lots of cool stuff shaping up over here in sector 7 but i definitely wanted to bring that pump jack to everyone's attention because that is something that has been teasing us for the like longest time in existence pump check is just something that's always been like just out of our reach right and it's finally closer than ever before 
because we literally have a dedicated location to it that is within our reach. No longer is it in this mysterious foggy area that we could never actually interact with. It's now within the scope of the multiplayer world, which is a little bit on the unprecedented side. And that's why I am so freaking excited because that pump jack has so much potential and I cannot wait to just even start scratching the surface of what that potential is going to be and what it means for Sector 7 and just clans in general. Because the clan system so far hasn't been super fleshed out. But they've been dibbling and dabbling with kind of the way where like clans used to be able to like battle over locations and stuff. But now I think that there's going to be a more specific battle over like a location like the pump jack and just collecting resources, being able to invest those resources into your town. Like so many cool connections that all stem from the pump jack and its inclusion here in Sector 7. Not to mention what the actual location might be like if we might actually be able to loot things over there. If there might be enemies over there protecting the pump jack, if it might be kind of like a co-op area that we got to battle through or if there are enemies we got to battle on top of other clans we got to potentially fight if we encounter them there are so many possibilities for this and that is why i am so freaking excited for it and why i am so excited to share this little kind of like tidbit and connection with all of you boys and girls and i want to hear what y'all got to say about this in that comment section down below what do you boys and girls think of the pump jack how excited are you for this and the clan wars that it does have connected with it and just in general how do you think that it is going to come into play in sector seven what are we going to be able to do at the pump jack are this going to be like a boss or something we got to battle do you think that there's going to be pvp going on over there is it going to be a, an immense source of resources and loot I would love to hear that from y'all in that comment section uh, down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly $25 at your touch play store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure the like button, make sure, uh, make sure you are subscribed. That will let you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well whether that be the seven days to die survival series that we got going on i don't notice me oh we got some zombies noticing us let's back it up but we found the location of this last chest so that's good i'm just trying to get to this chest without having to tussle and bustle with too many zombies because chests in this newest update are actually able to be gotten without having to well go through quite some large combat and i like that because well it helps us actually save our weapons for some of the tougher locations like the crossroads and whatnot we just gotta scheme our way towards victory here and hopefully just not oh my god i can't believe that toxic spitter didn't notice us let's freaking go yo i've i've just opened an incognito window oh metaphorical incognito window baby in the Google Chrome known as Last Day on Earth. I'm untrackable, baby. FBI agent wants to know your location. I think not. You ain't finding out, Jack Diddley squat. Boy, we got incognito. But now let's go over to the other red location, which is where some of the best loot sickles are able to be gotten. Like we have gotten this hazmat jacket, which is really good that we're looting this up because we are kind of slowly piecing together a hazmat suit which will come in handy for some of the bosses that Sector 7 does hold. But make sure that your boys and girls do have that notification bell to stay in the loop with those other awesome survival series, whether it be the 7 Days to Die series that we have going on or another series that is actually going to be starting very soon that I cannot wait. If your boys and girls like Last Day on Earth, I think you will enjoy the bejesus out of this game. It looks so freaking promising just in general. If y'all like Last Day on Earth, definitely make sure to be checking out some of the other stuff going up on the channel because I freaking love Last Day on Earth and a lot of these other games. Like if you boys and girls like Last Day on Earth, we probably have some similar tastes. So give them a chance. You might genuinely find a series that you enjoy the bejesus out of as well and there are some awesome ones that are going to be coming soon that i cannot wait to get some new series started on and of course like dude there's this one that should be coming out within like the next day or so that i am so excited to get something started on and just oh let's go that's some good loot baby y'all i it just i just you know me i love to survive i love the challenges that survival games do bring with them and all right we got to deal with a little bit of a flower blow to action over here no problemo bro let me just go ahead and boop, 
you upside the brain. And he has been dealt with rather swiftly. Let's see what the other chest has in store for us. And the answer is... Yo, let's freaking go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Arguably the best weapon in Sector 7. The heavy shield and son of a shotgun. 20 gear score for a gun. How much damage does it do? 36 with a shield bash effect. And I believe it actually... Does it raise our defense? Oh, it does not raise our defense. But I like I think that it actually does have the capability of blocking some shots. But look at how freaking awesome this is, dude. We got a riot shield. Oh, baby. Man, if we were at the pump jack location right now, I'd be ready to tussle shotgun rain in one hand, riot shield in the other. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is going to be a fun loadout to be using down the line. And that is some incredible luck that I love that we came across. But make sure that notification bell hit as well because it's a great thing. English is hard sometimes. It is a great way to stay in the loop with all of the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information and news as we try to keep y'all in the loop with what is coming. It's a last day on Earth in these future updates and future Sector 7 updates and future single player updates. And by the way, season six right around the corner. Not only are we keeping y'all in the loop, but as soon any juicy locations? Oh, I am a little bit tempted by airdrop. We go, we visit airdrop on the lickety split. I have no pants, of course, it's only logical. But let's go and uh, visit this thing up. But yeah, like with this, not only are we keeping y'all in the loop with the info, but as soon as that comes out, we're checking it out and all the new things that season six brings, new locations, new enemies, new bosses, new weapons, new everything. If something new is added to the game, we're checking it out. We're showing it off. We're battling it. We're exploring it. We're doing anything that can be done. So hopefully as well, we go in guns a blazing, armed to the teeth. And then hopefully y'all kind of know what to expect out of these ah, toxic spinner. new updates as well. So you can be a little bit more prepared and hopefully uh, not risk as much of your valuable loot. Because I'm always risking my stuff, y'all. I'm always willing to risk it for the biscuit. Not just to have some jolly good times, but also to help some of y'all out. Since I know that, uh, well, a lot of times uh, you might not want to risk your gorgeous loot if you don't know what you're getting into. So I want to kind of help y'all know what you're getting into by running in guns blazing like a chicken with its head cut off because, well, it's hilarious and it can hopefully be productive in the long run. Now, if you excuse me, I got to put some stuff away and we got a raid to go to. And alrighty, all the pantalones are back on. Do you know why? Because we got some serious business, super serial business ahead of us yet again. It is called a raid. We need to create the proper tools for what this raid holds in store for us. And then we need to execute this raid with the utmost precision. Luckily, I might be able to do that. No promises, but I like raiding. So we go get to it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And today's raid is taking place at a lad named QXXY. Hokey dokey artichokey, let's get to it. But yeah, best of luck to everyone in that weekly giveaway going on. Can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about this pump jack because seriously, the fact that it's included in Sector 7 is low-key such a big deal because like, it's the first time the last down Earth developers have gone out of their way to actually include it, which makes it seem promising like they are actually working on it and planning on it on being a part of the future instead of it just kind of being a leftover of development that they just never got rid of. Like, um, our good friend, where are you, my good friend? Where are you, horse feeder? It is a lie. There are no horses to feed. And I'm pretty sure they've said, yeah, there won't be. Despite the fact that there is a saddle. Hopefully they reconsider though, because a horse would be lit. But alrighty, without further ado, let's get to breaking into the base. And let's get to breaking into some chests, uh, shall we? Woo! That's what you like to see. Chests ahoy! Now, before we tap into the loot, let's tap into the, all the zombies we gotta kill. 
because I just want to deal with all the loot at once to be overwhelmed with feelings of joy while I deal with these zombies and feelings of dread because I need to kill zombies. Although, let's be honest, maybe dread is not the right word because <laughs> I love killing me some zombies. But yeah, looking forward to what y'all got to say about the pump jack. Oh, let's go! Good stuff! Looking forward to what y'all got to say about the pump jack and just super excited for some of these survival series going up on the channel as well. So like seriously, if y'all do see a video besides Last Day on Earth going up, give it a look. You might seriously enjoy the bejesus out of some of the other content going up on the channel and find yourselves yet another series on top of Last Day on Earth that y'all are tuning into, especially with some of the jazz coming soon to a Star Snipe channel near you. Woo! Okay, hold up, we got a lot of zombies over here. Holy guacamole, that is a lot more than I anticipated. Luckily, this should be the last wave of zombies that we gotta deal with because we have tapped into the loot supplies of this chest. Travis, what do you smell? Do you smell good loot? Do you smell good loot, Trav? Well, the first the first chest looked decent. Ooh, a little bit of gas. Come on, Trav, where's the good loot, baby? You said you smelled good loot. Where's it at, Travis? Don't disappoint me. Where is the good loot? Whoa! Travis does not lie. Travis tells the whole truth of the nothing but the truth. He tells the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That's what he tells. And he told it today. He told it today, although by the looks of it, besides some of those guns, this appears to mainly be the workings of... Uh, a resource raid. It does not look like there is a massive prize awaiting us. Unfortunately, it just appears to be some raw resources here or there. Besides that, but raw resources tend to come in handy at times as well. So is it the end of the world? No, but it's a, it's a slightly sadder world. I think that that's a... I don't know. Honestly, this uh, for the fact that we only had to use one iron hatchet to break into the chest room. That right there is definitely a plus. The fact that we got multiple guns out of it. I'm definitely a fan of that. Like, all in all, we could have done... We, we could have done significantly worse. I could have had to use a C4 and not even gotten a gun out of it. You know? So, like, all in all... Just kind of compared to like how this raid went down, what we had to invest, what we got out of it, the fact that there was no C4 used, minimal hatchets, like, and we got some guns, and I mean, some pretty nice little resources as well. I don't think I'll be losing sleep over this raid. I am satisfactory. And I will also go about looting this satisfactory base and just kind of filling out my inventory with exactly what I want to take home because you boys and girls have seen everything that this base does have to offer. So at this point, it's just a matter of me picking and choosing what exactly I want to take home with me. So I'll get to doing exactly that. But with that said, with that done, that is going to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you. In the next one. See ya.